for a crisp autumn day in the UK. I've come back from Dubai and now I'm about to share with you a story of my first car. But before I get to that, I am at Stratstone Mini of Leeds to come and collect a Mini John Cooper Works. So without further ado, I think we should head inside, find out what it's all about, and then I'm gonna share with you the story of my first car and the reason why I'm collecting this car and then meeting up with two other YouTubers that I'm pretty confident you know all about. Let's hit it. Haha, <laughs> 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 yes, it's red. This is good. Come and check this out. All right, here we go. So, this is me for the next few days. So um, what I haven't told you is my first car was a Mini Cooper. I haven't driven one of these cars for over 10 years. Uh, and now I'm jumping it into what you, would you class this as your flagship car? It's a flagship hatchback. It's a flagship right. hatchback. Okay, more about my first car when I actually drive off in this. But right now, we need to take a look around this and okay. check it out. Well, the car's an all-new platform. So the car came out in 2014, brand okay. new platform called the F platform. It's called the F56, it's code name. Okay. It's a brand new ground up car, suspension, interior, the whole lot body on the car. So much it looks like the original Mini you bought in mm -hmm. 2001, 2002. Yeah. Completely two generations later. So we had the R56 oh, in it. between, the R52 yeah. originally, now the F56. So this car here uh -huh. is a culmination of everything we've done over the last 15, 16 years with Mini as a brand. So it's come to this. So the car's bigger, it's longer, it's wider. Downside. It's really? Okay. Much bigger car than the old car. So we put the old original Mini, the BMW Mini, not the Rover yeah, Mini, yeah, yeah. next to the car, it looks tiny. Does it really? So the car's grown dramatically. Wow. The benefit of that is more space inside, for sure. better wheelbase for handling, yeah, yeah. wider tracks on the car as well, so yeah. the car actually drives better, handles better. We can fit 18 inch wheels on the car now, we couldn't do that previously. They wouldn't, for this. they wouldn't go around corners on 18s before because it's sure? too big for yeah, the car, yeah. so it's like a roller skate. So, wow. But we can have options on the car now we couldn't have before. So, for example, variable damper control, you okay. couldn't have that on a Mini ever. That's a 3 series, 5 series option at yeah, BMW, yeah. so adaptive wow. damping on the car. Head up display on the car, mm. an incredible navigation system now. It's a full media package on the car, it's an 8 inch navigation high definition screen for the car as well. So, um, And with real time traffic information on there as well. So, what you guys missed, we had a brief chat upstairs earlier. Mm. Um, I was saying that in my Mini, I had a cassette slot, and it was one of those ones with the wire that came out of the cassette so I could plug in an MP3 player. Like it, there wasn't even iPhones there. That's like all I was, had. That's all that I had. That was it, you know? Yeah, it was, and cool. I remember it was, it was like an actual cassette and you, you plugged it in. Uh, and then I advanced a bit and got one of those. Um, you plugged it into the three and a half mil jack on your like, phone or, or player and you would tune it into a free frequency on the radio. I had that as well, yeah. Do you remember that one? Well? Well? <laughs> well, do you remember the, the, the ultimate combination of that yeah. was a little table to put your portable CD player on with a thing that went <laughs> from the dashboard as well, rocked around on a spring. Amazing. That was cool as well. Wow. So things, things have yeah. been done slightly things have now. The scary thing is, standing in front of it, it feels like it was yesterday. Because the car, even though you've mentioned it's, it's obviously changed dramatically and it's a larger car, the overall shape is still a very Mini, familiar Mini's thing. Mini's done a great job. Do you think that the pedestrian impact regulations on the front of the car particularly, yeah. look at the front, it's much higher than the old car right. because you have all the pedestrian impact on there as well. But look at it, it's a Mini still, isn't it? It's still got the old headlights yeah. on the car. Right, so my car was a, just a standard Cooper. Didn't have any of the, the, the sculpture on this. It makes it look it's so much cool. more aggressive. The, the, the investment in the F model cars was probably four times of the previous generation. Um, ah, okay. To the point now where BMW use our engines in their cars. Yeah. And previously, we kind of had slightly older engines that weren't developed as far as these cars. The engine in this car is absolutely stunning. It's a four cylinder, 228 horsepower engine based mm. on a modular range of engines we've got. It came out in 2014, so it's wow. very new. Okay, so mine was 115. There you go. <laughs> but, but more importantly, <laughs> it sounds amazing. It pops on the overall, so it sounds oh, like a car as well. Ticks all the right boxes. There is an optional um, Bluetooth exhaust for the car as well, which opens a baffle in the exhaust. This car doesn't have it on board. A Bluetooth right? exhaust. You press the button on the thing. If you change it, and it'll. It's a sports exhaust. Back. Opens a baffle on the back. Twin exhaust on the back, which has been a Cooper S thing for a long time. Okay. Uh, but on the JCW, it's obviously all hyped up on the car, bigger yeah. body kit on the car as well. Uh, JCW badging on it as well. It's, it's got a good great stance, doesn't it? It looks great, doesn't it? It does look great. And it can be lowered. We do an adjustable suspension oh, package really? for the car, but we, no. we haven't just put it on this car. Sure. So it makes okay. it a bit hard on the road. That's fair. We can lower the car right down and make yeah, it look yeah. very ground hooking as well. And it shows the camber off in the wheels then properly. So. Yeah. The, the great thing about this hot hatch tour, which I'll tell you about shortly, um, is that we've got some really good driving roads mm -hmm. lined up for it. So we're going to immerse this thing yeah, in its uh, natural it's a, environment. It, well, it's a great compromise on the road. It's a great road car. Yeah. You know, you, you can modify it for the tracking, you put the suspension kit on for 
track on the road, the suspension's perfectly set up. It's great. It drives beautifully. Even on the standard damping on the car, mm -hmm. the adaptive damping, the car handles beautifully. You'll love it. It's a great car. So, so interior. Best thing about interior, you can sit low in the car. V let me just say. Different Vast words. change. <laughs> Vast change. My memory of being in a Mini was nothing like this. <laughs> this is like, in comparison, you've evolved it to a spaceship. The, the, when this car came out, I remember putting pictures on Facebook for all my friends to see, right. and I couldn't believe the interior of the car. I couldn't <laughs> believe the technology in the car. Like, What's going on? It's a Mini. So what? previously, there's so many things okay. to move on. We'll go through them bit by bit, but yeah, for sure. the, the, the technology in the car mm -hmm. for a, a small hatchback is staggering. Nice. There we go. So, are. down here first of all, a row of switches, heated seats on the car you'd expect nowadays on the car. Yeah. Um, most importantly, traction control switch down there. That, good fun. Put you in dynamic mode if you want to go in dynamic, give you a bit of wheel slip at the front end of the car. Okay, which nice. you need, And a little bit of Very movement cool. on the back end as well. Yeah. Very important button down here, your sport button. So you've got three so options on the Arguably the most important. The most important button. <laughs> so, press sport and we get a message on the screen. So okay. we say maximum go-kart feel. Maximum go-kart feel. There you feel. go, so. You know you're in a fun car when they've got maximum go kart. Who does that, you see? Right. <laughs> so what that does on the car is that will weight up your steering, it'll okay. improve the brake response on the car, change the throttle response on the vehicle as well. Nice. If you had variable dampers on the vehicle, it would stiffen the suspension up on the car as well. Okay. Always required, but it does make a difference for the softer side of that, usually, mm. on the vehicle as well. That's so cool. I, I love the little symbols they've got. It's, it's just fun from the get-go, this thing. It's it's so cool. It's fun, but the, the, it. the fact that the car now is always fun, this car's yeah. very serious as well. Yeah, tool. absolutely. We even do things like GoPro camera attachments for the front bumper and stuff, so you can take them on track days and film it all for yourself. Like well. a perfect car for so me it's to be become honest. a proper car, <laughs> yeah. which is great. This is going to be a lot of fun. Fantastic. All right. So um, yeah, next stop for me, um, going to the Cotswold. I guess from here to the Cotswold, uh, catching up with some other uh, fellow YouTubers, which I shall explain shortly. Um, but super excited for it. Oh, really, you. really You're excited. Uh, one of the great things is, you know, on this channel there is quite a heavy focus on the more sports car. Mm -hmm supercar side of things and I didn't want to neglect cars like this because I remembered how much fun I ha had in my car and now to see how far that these things have actually evolved I can't wait The interior of the Mini John Cooper Works. Got to say a massive thank you to Stratstone Mini of Leeds for putting me in this car for the next few days. But I promised you that I would share with you a little story. Now, for those of you who don't know, my very first car was actually a Mini Cooper. And I haven't driven one of these cars for over 10 years. Literally, I have not stepped in one. But the weird thing about that is, your first car is your strongest memory of any car. It certainly is mine. It's the car that I passed my driving test in. It's the car that unlocked that incredible sense of freedom that you've got your own wheels and you can go anywhere at any time you want. And there's something special, isn't there, about being in the car on your own. We've got really busy lives, things are frantic, and I think being in the car on your own is one of those few moments of solace where it's just you. You can have any music on you want, or not, just have it off, chill and relax, there's no interruptions, and you're just gliding along through the world in your own little pod. Now my Mini was black with a white top, and as a result I called it Guinness, and it was the best thing since sliced bread. I actually believed it was the best car in the world. I hadn't experienced anything else. Clearly, it wasn't, but it was mine, and it was my first set of wheels, and it took me everywhere. That car, I had my first crash in it, taught you a lot, you know? Your first car is everything. The memories that I had, first road trips, going out with friends in the car, everything about it was the foundation of what has ultimately led to me becoming quite an intoxicated petrol head. So to be back in one now, one of the latest generation Mini Coopers, albeit a John Cooper Works, is a fantastic experience. Now, the wider context of this is, this Mini Cooper, is forming part of a hot hatch tour that has been arranged between myself, 
Sam from Seen Through Glass and Paul from Supercars of London. Uh, the video is dropping simultaneously with videos on their channel, so go over there and check out what cars they've got, because we are now embarking on a three-day hot hatch tour road trip around the UK to indulge in some, some fantastic driving roads, some challenges, and who knows what else is going to lie ahead. The main thing about this is, this channel is all about smiles per gallon. I'm a big believer that it doesn't matter what car you're in, it doesn't matter what price point it is, it doesn't matter what it is, if it puts a smile on your face, you're winning. It is the right car. And I truly believe that you can get just as much fun from the likes of a hot hatch as you can from a supercar if the conditions are right. And we are about to embark and find those conditions, put these cars through their paces, and see what madness is about to unfold. So be sure, tune in over the next few days and comments below. I want to hear if you guys are currently in the process of taking your driving test, if you're learning to drive, how you're feeling, because this car, that's everything for me that this car represents. It's me learning, it's me passing, it's me learning again. I truly believe that once you've passed your driving test, you learn so much more about the road. And also, anyone who's passed their test and remembers what it was like, share with me in the comments below, because for me, it was magic. Anyway, guys, I am now gonna indulge in this car for my quite severely long journey home and I'm gonna find out all about it and then report to you on my next video just how awesome this little thing is. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!